what is it that is called power of love? How does this power heal us? Oh, it's a beautiful thing to think about, isn't it? All of our viewers would have heard, would have felt this power of love mm -hmm. in their lives. It makes our lives worthwhile. The power of love works in different parts of our lives. We have to have a center focus on ourselves. And we have to learn a little bit about ourselves so that then we can spread that power into all aspects of our lives. Think about a, um, a grandmother and a, and a little child that's fussing. And the child is running around and the grandma says, come over here now, come here, sit on my lap. And the child climbs up on the lap. And the, the grandmother you know, maybe puts their hand on the forehead, says, now you're going to be okay. And there's something in just those motions that the child doesn't even know the words because they're too little. They don't know the words, but they have this feeling that someone is taking care of me. I, I feel better. And they get healed, and two minutes later, they're playing the bookum like that. Now, that's a child. And if we have those experiences, a lot of those experiences when we're young, then we can calm our own selves down and make our own selves like peaceful and quiet. But if someone, for whatever reason, they didn't have a grandma or that wasn't like that, they could walk around holding that hurt, those little hurts inside, and they build up inside. And that's when you need the healing power of love. When you said about power of love, mm -hmm. love is very much connected with happiness too. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Because when you said a loving person is a happy person, mm -hmm. and a happy person is a successful person. And a happy person would spread love just Absolutely. by, their, by their, their nature and their attitude. How do I work towards this power of love? How do I build this power of love within me that can heal me and through me I can heal the world? I'll just tell you a little bit of how it was for me. Because here I am in the middle of this stressful world, listening to people come through the door and they're stressed. And what they're talking about sounds familiar to me because I also have it. It's like a disease mm -hmm. of busyism, or, or w w we could make up a word for it. But okay. any, whatever it is, it's a separation from the true self. Mm -hmm. And so that I had to learn about my true self. So first and foremost for me to work with myself is for me to accept. Because it's acceptance that would lead me to loving myself. And once I am in that positive realm, then connecting with the Supreme, connecting with God becomes easier because I can't be on a lower frequency mm -hmm. and trying to connect someone with a higher frequency. I have to sort of match up the energy level. So that means the first and foremost method in this healing power of love is loving the self which enables with connecting with the supreme source of love. And once that connection happens within and upward, then it's easier to connect with others also with love. So in this process, first I heal myself. And through my healing, whoever I come into connection gets healed on itself without me working much hard because then I will be able to see them beyond their labels. Mm -hmm. I will be able to see them without judgments. So automatically, whoever comes in my company feels accepted, feels healed. They at least would feel accepted. And this might be so unusual for them mm -hmm. that then they could relax a little bit. And then they might be able to get a little bit more settled on how to handle themselves by you you become an example for them maybe you're not saying to them you're you're fine you're fine but you you look at them with with love you look at them with respect you look at them with 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 interest in what they're saying and if something comes out of their mouth that is negative you just you know it's it's just you don't go there because you know that if they if they could do better they would so mm -hmm. you assume the best for them that they can do better and this becomes that belief is part of the love. This beautiful art of loving the self and loving God, it seems as if Raj Yoga is a good tool to develop this art. You're much experienced in this Raj Yoga skill. Raja, as you might know, means king mm -hmm. or ruler. Mm -hmm. Yoga mm -hmm. 
-hmm. One of the meanings of yoga is connection or link. So first, I need to link to the real me inside, the being, not the one that does the doing, but the one that is truly a, a well-wisher, a loving soul, a peaceful, one who can become still and peaceful so that I don't repeat old stuff that's not real anymore, that I stay in the, what's real about me. I have to become the ruler of my own self, which happens gradually. But the Raja Yoga lessons are of various levels. The first level is understanding about the soul and, and uh, the supreme soul, God, and, and, and some basics. And then from there, it's, as you said, it's kind of a skill building practice but with hmm. a lot of love and joy in it, at least for me. I found it so, I mean, I had studied psychology, had thought a lot about those things, but I wasn't able to really experience the fullness of myself until I had let go of some of the other aspects that were distracting me. And so, and each level, you learn more about the knowledge of who we all are, really. This world is enormous stage. It's uh, like a drama is played out on this stage. And we're each actor is in this play. I mean, Shakespeare said something like that. Mm -hmm. And and yet it's it's true. And so, but if I, it, when I'm in my roles, then I'm the actor. When I'm sitting in meditation, deeply, deeply connected to my true self and to the source of love, then the the shifting and the away from the old into the new happens very easily. And it becomes more permanent because I believe it. I feel it to be true. And so that's what happens. So at several levels, you can start at the beginning and go as far as you want. But it's, it made a world of difference in my life and Wonderful. the work that I do. Yeah. Wonderful. I hope you do check it out. Sure, now that... I'm inspired <laughs> looking at you. Yeah. I'm sure that this uh, meditation practice will be very useful for uh, me and for everybody. If more people meditated, there would be much less violence and anger and defensiveness and lack of love. It's all about we're separated from our true self. We're lonely inside and nothing can fill it. But this practice of Raj Yoga is very healing. So everyone? based on what Sister Irene just shared right now. What we've learned is that healing power of love happens first when I'm able to love myself, when I'm able to accept myself as I am, and then connecting with the source of love, which is God, and drawing that power within myself, which then helps me to heal also the world.